this other one is 265 Fierce Redoubtable. Redoubtable. I don't know. Hey guys, welcome back. So got a new at the drugstore haul and first impressions video for you guys today. And y'all know I get really excited about new drugstore makeup. So these are some of my favorite videos to do. I love new drugstore stuff. So, and just a side note, this is probably gonna be the first of at least a couple of new at the drugstore videos because there's a lot of new stuff coming out. And I found several things, but there's still a lot more out there to be found. So just know there may be at least one or two more of these videos coming in the next, I don't know, several weeks, a month, something like that. So anyway, got some good stuff to share, so let's jump into it. So Revlon has come out with some new mascaras. They had a whole display of like different kinds and each different kind had a different colored lid which is adorable and like different little strip color here. So there was a red one that had kind of like all in one and there was a blue, a green. I don't remember the other ones, but they were supposed to do like, you know, length, one did volume, one did length and volume. The red did all in one. I got the one that was just volume because that's really like what I like the most in a mascara. So, and I liked that it was pink. I mean, just being honest, I liked the pink packaging. So volume, but pink packaging. But I tried it today, um, I like it, I think it does build volume, but interestingly enough, it took a lot of coats to really build some good volume. The shape of the wands were all different, so um, each different one had a different purpose, but also the wands were all different and the display showed like how they were different. So this one is kind of like, and you're not gonna be able to see it on camera because it's just, it's such a like minute, you know, tiny little change from a regular mascara wand, but it's kind of like a three leaf clover shape. So not a four leaf clover, but like a regular clover shape. So it's kind of got the three different sides. Um, I don't know, you're probably not gonna be able to see it on camera, but it's a brush um, instead of being like a plasticky end and it's kind of in that shape. So yeah, I like it, but I'm not like blown away by it. I think it's just kind of okay, but I think the packaging is really cute. And then these cushion foundations seem to be kind of like a trend right now that there's this one that's come out from L'Oreal and then Physicians Formula is supposed to have one too. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Buildable Luminous Foundation and I got it in N2, it's the color I got it in. It's like darn near impossible to know your color. I mean, it's pretty much just this sticker because you can't see the product and you know, there's like a seal on it. So if you try to open it and look, there's a seal. So you're gonna be, you know, getting into somebody else's makeup if you try to look at it. So I just guessed based on what I wear in the regular True Match foundation from them and it's right, it, it matches me just fine. So I've worn this foundation twice. It's like that like squishy cushiony type of a foundation and quite a bit of product does come out. Um, I like this actually. I mean, so far, I'm kind of pleasantly surprised by it. I mean, it blends really nicely into the skin. It's light to buildable up to about medium coverage, but I still do like the way that it looks on the skin. And right now, this time of year, I'm kind of more combination normal, my skin is, and it really stuck around on mine. Like I didn't notice it really breaking down throughout the day. I did get a little bit shiny, but nothing terrible. And it wasn't like completely sliding off my face. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this. So far, I'm really liking it. And just so you know, I found all this stuff either at Bed Bath & Beyond or Walgreens. So the mascara is from Walgreens and the foundation is from Bed Bath & Beyond. So another new thing that's out is Burt's Bees has a new lipstick line. So I just grabbed one, you know, because I wanted to try it out and see what I thought. Um, and also Jess, don't call me Jessie on Instagram, talk about her a lot, um, cause she makes me want every lipstick under the sun. She had mentioned that they have a scent to them. She said it wasn't bad, but it's there. So I'm always like, you guys know, super sensitive to weird smelling makeup products. So I was like, mm, be safe, just get one. So I just got one, this is in the color Suede Splash. Love the packaging, it's really cute. So it's kind of like a tall sort of a lipstick. Um, one thing I don't like about it is that it sticks above the top of it so it's easy to kind of like gouge it. As far as the scent, I don't know how I would describe it. It's really not bad, it's kind of like just a sweet sort of a scent, kind of a fakey sweet or something, but 
it's nothing terrible. This is a really pretty color. This is what I have on my lips today. Love the shade. It's just like a, a warm nude kind of a color. Um, these are creamy and comfortable on the lips, but they do take some building and they're not super long wearing, but I mean, for a creamy lipstick, you know, they're fine. I think they're really pretty nice, but they're just, don't expect them to be like full on super opaque color. It's more of that kind of, I don't know, creamy, semi sheer lipstick that you can build it up to be more coverage like I have on my lips now. Um, but I love that color. I'm glad that I picked this one because it's really just such a nice everyday nude. And then, oh my goodness, I am so impressed by these new eyeshadows from L'Oreal. These are really nice. They are the Color Riche eyeshadows. So I got the color Pain au Chocolat. It says Pain. Pain au Chocolat. Pain from chocolate? I don't know. And then Violet Beauté. Violet Beaut. I don't know. Um, but I've worn these a couple of times. They're nice. They have kind of like, um, I mean, look at that, super pigmented. They have an interesting texture, like, I don't know, especially this metallic one, kind of has that almost like, I don't know, really pressed pigment sort of a feel where it feels almost a little bit like tacky or thicker in texture, but that means that it really builds on itself nicely. So super impressed. So yeah, this one is the Pain or chocolate. I don't know. Chocolate gives me headaches, so maybe that's what that means. I don't know. And then this one is Violet Butte. Maybe it means pain without chocolate. Like you need chocolate. I don't know. Somebody tell me. But these are gorgeous. I love them. I would love more colors. I think they're awesome. Are they going to replace the L'Oreal Infallibles for me? Probably not. I hope these aren't replacing those. That would really make me sad. But um, I, I still love those. Those are still my first love. But I think that these are awesome too. Just such nice pigmentation. And they had a bunch of different colors too. They had some like turquoise. They had a blue. There was black. There was a creamy shade. Anything you'd need. So nice. And these were from Bed Bath & Beyond. And they were around 450 and then the lipstick was from Walgreens. And then Physicians Formula had a display at Bed Bath & Beyond and there were like five or six um, new palettes of these extreme shimmer eyeshadows and then they had some new liners and whatnot. So I just picked this one. This is in Disco Glam. No, it says Disco Glam. This is in the color Copper Nude. So I've tried this. Um, you have to like the other ones. I mean, really, like in a nutshell, if you liked the first kind of round of these and you like super shimmer, kind of a little bit gaudy makeup, then I think you will like these. I mean, hello, that's gaudy packaging, but I think it's a lot of fun. Like it still just makes me happy because it's sparkly and a little bit ridiculous. So let me swatch these for you. So I would say with the lighter shades, you're probably gonna wanna use some Mac Fix Plus and apply those wet because there's an eyeshadow here, but you really can't see it because it's pretty much just chunks of glitter. So overall, I would say that one right there is a fail for the palette, but I mean, that one's really pretty. These two are really pretty. I mean, that blue, that's gorgeous. And these two are really nice. They have a chunkier texture, especially the copper one. It kind of flakes everywhere. So it takes a little like working with, but I mean, especially these three, I think are definitely winners from the palette. And I don't know, overall, it still makes me happy. I don't think it's like a you know, knock it out of the park sort of a palette, but it's still kind of fun. And especially this like ridiculous packaging still just really makes me smile because it's super glittery and copper and just kind of fun. And then lastly, Revlon had a display at Walgreens and on that display, they had some new shades of their matte balms. So I think these are gonna be part of their permanent line now. I think that's what I heard. So I picked up two shades. This first one is in 270. Fiery Flamboyante, and this other one is 265 Fierce Redoubtable. Redoubtable. I don't know. Okay, so here they are. So this one on this side is the Fiery Flamboyante, and this one on this side is the Fierce Redoubtable. So both really fun, kind of dark, fall, wintry sort of shades really opaque. I love the formula on these. I think they're really nice. It has that same minty sort of a scent as the other ones in the line do. Um, 
but I like them both. I think they're really pretty. That one's just kind of like a fun 90s sort of color. And this one's sort of that like deep wine berry red kind of a color. Both really pretty. All right guys, so those are all the new goodies that I found at the drugstore recently. So like I said, I'm gonna keep my eyes open for more new products that I can review for you guys. So there will probably be more of these videos coming up soon so you can watch for those. But I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and let me know down below what goodies you have found at the drugstore lately. Ask me any questions that you have, I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in the next video.